This is a phage. It doesn't look like much. In fact, it looks pretty similar to a lot of viruses you'll see in a standard biology textbook. But phages may be the key to saving many lives threatened by drug-resistant infections. In London, a 15-year-old girl with cystic fibrosis had already undergone a double lung transplant and, to top things off, had gotten sick with a Mycobacterium abscessus infection. This bacterium is related to those that cause tuberculosis and leprosy. Called M. abscessus for short, the bacterium can lead to serious lung infections, especially in people suffering from cystic fibrosis. There is nothing pleasant about an M. abscessus infection. The infected area can be swollen, painful, and can develop boils or pus-filled sacs. According to the CDC, the most effective ways to treat M. abscessus infections are to drain collections of pus, remove infected tissue, or administer specific combinations of antibiotics over a long period of time. Draining pus from an infected lung sounds awful, and if you've just been fortunate enough to receive a double lung transplant, the last thing you want to do is remove those lungs because of an infection. So, antibiotics seem like the best approach. But what do you do when the infection is resistant to drugs? This is where phages enter the ring. Phages are viruses. Now, you may be thinking, wait a minute, viruses are bad. And in many cases, you'd be right. In fact, phages do take more lives than anything else on Earth. But you don't need to worry because phages don't kill humans. They exclusively hunt bacteria. And this is what gives them so much potential for becoming medical superheroes. You see, while the evolution of medical science has done immeasurable good for humanity, it has also led to some adverse side effects. One of the most threatening of these is the evolution of superbugs, which are bacteria that just don't seem to have a weakness to any antibiotics we can throw at them. This is because they've evolved to develop resistances to the many medicines that humanity has grown to use and, in some cases, overuse. But phages may just save the day. These tiny viruses are specialized killers, and each type of phage has a specific bacteria which it excels at hunting. Doctors James Soothill and Graham Hatful knew this and began searching for the phage that would help the 15-year-old patient overcome the M. abscessus infection. But the search was more complicated than you might think. There are a lot of types of phages. In fact, while you may not be able to see a phage under a regular microscope, there are so many phages that the mass of all phages on Earth outweighs that of all humans. As you watch this video right now in your gut, there are 1 million billion phages. Fortunately, Dr. Graham has an extensive history working with the target bacterium, which made it possible for the team to identify a suitable phage for treatment. They also had to be careful when administering the phage therapy. The process must be strictly regulated in order to prevent unwanted damage. After all, not all bacteria is bad. The team only wanted to kill the M. abscessus infection. Phages get their name from the Greek word meaning to eat, but they actually operate by filling the target bacteria with their genetic material until the bacteria ruptures and sends the replicated phages out into the world. This can get messy, and it's important to keep the process as contained and controlled as possible. While the treatment was effective in saving the life of the patient, it didn't totally wipe out the infection. But the patient was set on a stable path to recovery, with her team of doctors hoping that the infection will clear fully in the near future. This wasn't the first time phages were used in treatment, and it certainly won't be the last. The topic is becoming more widely studied, which is good news for humanity. Superbugs are on track to kill more people than cancer by the year 2050. It's important that we develop ways to combat them, or we may return to the days where drinking the wrong water or getting a bad scratch could leave you in the hospital or worse, the morgue.